And we actually shredded them, which I think makes them a little sexier even. Yes. I had a lot of different thoughts um, going through my mind, and I just want to execute them all. Okay. I start with a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and I got a really hot pan. You want the pan to be super hot. Ooh. Nice. You love hearing that sizzle when they hit the pan. I can see the chili bubbling beneath it. I really tried to find products that only had a couple of ingredients. Oh, okay. oops. That was supposed to be two tablespoons. Just... Going into it, I'm going to be the underdog. So when I make a dish that blows people away, I'll have the meat people eat my dust. Because I want to do beans three different ways. And I want to incorporate the mystery ingredients, obviously, the mushrooms, the asparagus, and uh, the chorizo. And it's crazy ambitious to try to make three separate things in 20 minutes. I commend you for that. But we do need to address the peach issue. I'm serving them a meal full of flavor, and I think it's going to be better than their meals. What kind of inspired me to do the banana wonton is a crepe I had one time with bananas and hazelnut spread, and it's so wonderful, smells so great, and I thought, why not do it inside of a wonton? The white sangria does have lychee juice, which I went I down and searched lychee for juice. in Chinatown. They are pregnant in here. Very psychological for me. Instantly, without me even thinking about it, I get myself worked up, I can't breathe, I cry, I shake, I faint. So I'm kind of freaking out big time about the IV because in the hospital when you give birth, you have to have an IV. I'm worried that I'm gonna have like a heart attack in the delivery room because of my anxiety over the needles. I just do not see myself doing it. I just don't. Sauce. sauce. Very easy also. Okay. I use, of course, vegetable broth, right. the vegetable stock. And then I, of course, add the wine. It's a little Pinot Grigio. So okay. got the notes of lemon also, so it works perfectly in this recipe. Beautiful. And then um, let's put some lemon slices in there so it kind of takes on the flavor. Of now, the what you want to do, this condenses, right? You want it to condense about 40% about, about or so? Exactly. You want it to get a, a okay. little bit thicker, a little bit richer. Now, and capers? Then capers. I love capers. I like I to pile capers the capers too. on. It adds that salty flavor. It's a great substitute for meat. It's actually a veggie protein. Mm -hmm. You hear the there sizzle? See, sizzle now that, now that uh, hot pan is paying off for us. And uh, I want to mix this around a little. This is a very, very easy recipe. And that's what I want to stress with a, a lot of my recipes. I want to make being a vegetarian, being a vegan easy for you. And everybody, by the way, does eat vegetarian. A lot of people think I don't eat vegetarian, but people do eat vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. You eat vegetarian. I, I, of course, eat vegetarian, but everybody does. So these are actually things that can make everybody at a party mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. Turkey pinwheels, except they're made with a vegetarian form of turkey. It's Light Life's roast turkey style. And, you know, we go to Publix, you get those, you pay a lot for the platter. You can throw these together at home for much less. It Dinner is a great pasta. marinated tempeh pasta. And I just wanted to show you what tempeh looks like before it's cooked. What is tempeh? It's tempeh <laughs> is a fermented soy product. It's very, very natural and it's so high in protein, more than 20 grams in each serving. It's always nice to make a good pasta. A pasta is really romantic. There's something mm -hmm. like the lady in the tramp scene yes, that brings yes. it all back. So there's something about pasta that, you know, and the colors. How and long the did it take you to make this though because it looks beautiful this literally took me about 15 to 20 minutes to make why don't you take a taste of it okay with, with the dark chocolate because it's such an elegant wine and it's really an indulgence the food here is beautiful and inventive some of it is meat free some of it can be requested meat free now we want to go inside and dig right in then I'm gonna do a section of beets. I love beets in almost every salad I make at home. I put beets. I'm here at Brasserie Eight and a Half in Midtown Manhattan, one of the most beautiful restaurants in the city. Now you're gonna make actually a dish that I think almost every person who walks through that door orders. I like them to get a little brown, like the fajita onions at the bottom of your pan when you go and get fajitas. I love those onions. We're about to dig into some vegan raw strawberry shortcake, and then I've got a lot of questions for you. Remember, it's gonna puff up nicely when it bakes. So I think we're ready to get this over to the oven. Not a hard recipe at all. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's just getting nice and brown. We'll turn that oven off and we will pop that right out. I've always found the word tofu kind of scares people who do like meat and do eat meat. They hear tofu and they think, oh, that's all vegetarians eat. We're going to put a little mushroom sauce, mushroom gravy that we do in the morning. It's so good. I like to snack on it. It's so low in calorie and filling. Mm, love it. 